Could, could we cut that? My, I don't my, want my missus seeing that one. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Shock Tactics, Mike Ross. How are you? I'm very good, Ferg. The aim of the game is to test your rugby knowledge and see how much you know about yourself. Okay. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Where did you first meet your wife, Kim? Met her inside in FX in Cork. True or false? The second time you met your wife, Kim, you borrowed money from Dennis Leamy to pay for the date. True. Correct. Where was the date? Uh, we went into, um, I met her in a bar called Rosie O'Grady's in Cork, which is now defunct, and we went to a place called Red's afterwards. Nightclub as well? Yeah. Jesus, Charlie Sheen stuff from you back in the day. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. What is your daughter Chloe's birthday? 13th of February. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> That's probably the best poker face that, that anyone has, has given when they've gotten shocked before. Is October? Oh, October. <laughs> Kevin's yes. February. Kevin's February. We got Kevin's him. February. 13th of October, yeah. True or false? You once met your father in law in London with nothing but a bathrobe, a wig, and underpants on. True. So uh, it's an end of season, Harlequin's an end of season uh, gig. And everyone always there's always a theme to it. So mm. the, the year, that year's theme was '80s wrestlers, and Nick Easter was handing out which wrestler you're going to be, and I got Yokozuna. <laughs> so <laughs> I had the wig, I had the, the bathrobe, and um, you were the white Yokozuna, the, the, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Mike, you're going well here. We're going to steer towards some questions around rugby. You okay with that? Yeah, that reasonably confident I should be at this part at least. In Six Nations Rugby, what player holds the record for making the most appearances for their country? Mm, that would be Alan Wynne-Jones. <laughs> Sergio Parise. True or false? Whilst playing for Leinster, you were caught by the team manager Guy used to be, leaving a shop after training carrying a large block of dark chocolate and a bottle of red wine. When asked, you told Guy this was for your son Kevin, who was three at the time. False. I said the red wine and chocolate were for myself, but I had, but also had a big bag of skips, which I did say were for Kevin. Yeah, so I, I was yeah I was coming out of there. With, You're having uh, a cheeky bottle of red yeah, wine on I, was, I, was, I had a week off, oh, uh, okay. a weekend off, right? And uh, I thought I'd stop in there. I'd pick up a couple of things, and of course, guy used the to chances, be, yeah. yeah, walks in. Yeah, it's not as bad as the time I was getting on the bus after um, we were come back from Munster, and. A, tube of Pringles fell out of my pocket in front of Sh Joe. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Who won the Women's World Cup in 2017? 2017 was England. Final answer? Final answer. <laughs> New Zealand was Lads, it? is this thing on? Honestly. <laughs> Zero reaction here. The answer there was New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was England for some reason. I think they beat England in the final. Yeah. All right, Mike. You survived shock tactics. How are you feeling after that? I'm um, good, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I need to brush up on some of my own knowledge. My hands are nicely flexed. 